Hey everybody and welcome to our tutorial about how to build a modern pergola. So first you're going to need four posts, four post bases, four cross rails, four three-way joints, three uh, four by four by 12 cross beams, and then 11 two by two by 12 uh, top beams. So we're going to start off by taking the three-way joints and putting a dab of glue in them. The post rails and cross rails are the same height, so you don't have to worry about getting those mixed up. So a dab of glue in each of those will work great. Glue all four corners, and then you can flip it over. You want to make sure that the smooth side of the joiner pieces is down. So the next thing that we're going to do is just mark a five inch uh, pencil line in the middle of the cross beams. This is gonna serve as the center post for one of our four by fours. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four by fours and we are going to mark them. So first you're gonna make a mark 0.75 inches from each end. And then you're gonna make a second mark 1.25 inches from each end. And then you're going to take uh, from that inside mark, that 1.25 inch mark, and you're going to do one inch intervals uh, all the way across the remainder of the wood. You should end up with 11 marks total. Our cross beams ready. What we're going to go ahead and do is glue them on. So we're going to take those four by fours and we're going to line them up. We want to do one right against the uh, three way joint piece on each side, one on that five inch mark, and then one uh, against the other three way joint. So you're looking for about an inch of overhang uh, on each side. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, I know many people uh, strive for perfection. So about an inch on each side will give you a nice square look. And next we're going to do the top rail pieces. So these are a lot of fun. So there's 11 of these, you should have 11 marks. So just go ahead and just uh, dab a little bit of glue on each of those marks. We can do one at a time, just depends uh, on your preference. And then take each one and set it on those marks. And it's a little tricky to keep square. So I actually prefer to eyeball it. I feel like that gives me the most visually accurate remarks, but I do kind of check things with a square um, and a ruler. So yeah, the, the best thing to do is just kind of line up those end marks and then let everything dry once it's nice and square. The final step is assembling the vertical posts, and those are super easy. So you can just set those right in. Uh, you can glue or mortar these if you'd like, uh, but there's no need to. And then just to make it a little bit easier, I didn't glue these, so that way if I need to move it, I can disassemble it and make it a lot smaller. Uh, but if it's going to a permanent place, you could definitely glue the posts in as well. And then you're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial from Mini Materials. I'm Jared, hope you have a great day.